we've got our little urn here and a towel and I've got some foam. So to pack the foam in here, I've got a third of a block, okay? And then you can just use a little off cut for underneath. All right, so this is quite deep. So I'm gonna pack some foam in first and then have my bigger piece on top. So we'll just cut this down. You really just need like a little square and push that in firmly like that. And then this one's just gonna sit on top. So what I do is I just push it like that to make those marks and then I'm gonna give it a little trim. And don't forget the Oasis branding needs to go up. All right, so I always just cut off a little bit at a time. I find that better than trying to repair it later if you cut off too much. Push that down until it's nice and secure. And I want this little bit of oasis over the top so I can put in those side placements. Okay. All right, if that feels nice and firm and it's not wobbling around, you can arrange straight into that. If not, if it's a little bit wobbly, we've got the pot tape. Okay, you can just put some pot tape over there to secure it, but that's pretty good. All right, flower content. We've got some disbuds here. Some asters, which I don't think we've worked with asters before. Some nice snapdragons. So yeah, they're still nice and straight at the moment. Um, some ivy berry. Matricaria. And finally some poppies. All right. So I'm going to start with my ivy berry. So just using the bottom part of the foam, I'll make these side placements. So I'm going to make mine all round, not, um, not flat backed or anything. Make mine a bit of an oval shape, I think, today. Now you can manipulate them a little bit, just help bend them down. Okay, and that's giving me a little bit of a shape there. All right, the next thing I will put in is my disbuds. So cutting them down quite short and removing any leaves that will go down past the foam. Push that one in. All right, now my Snapdragons. So look at the, the, the natural shape and form of your flowers to work out the best place for them to go. Okay, because that one's got that nice line on there. I'll use that down the bottom there. OK, 
Okay, because I'm making this all round, I'll just keep turning my arrangement. And you can use a lazy Susan if you wanted to. All right, so it's starting to take shape already, really. With, and we do that with the bigger, bigger flowers. Okay, so the asters are interesting too because they do, they are directional. They will face, they're like little sunflowers, they will face the sun. So you can get some interesting shapes with the asters. They were um, out of fashion for many, many years, but they seem to be making a bit of a comeback again, which is nice. They come in all different colours, purple, white, um, the pinks. So I'm just working on the these two sides now, moment. And I'm really cutting these down individually. Okay, so there's quite a few flowers on one stem. So you can see the, um, the yellow centre of the asters really picking up the yellow container. Okay, so I worked on the overall shape, then I kind of filled in the middle, and now I'm filling in everywhere else. So I keep turning it around. And like you can get some really cute little natural um, shapes with these. Okay, that's the asters. Next, I'm going to go into my poppies. So they're all closed, so it's a little bit of a lucky dip. We don't know what's, what colour we're going to get. Sometimes you can, they give you a little hint. This one's just starting to open. I know that a lot of them are orange, but you do get some of the, um, these are just the field poppies, so they will be those, those mixed colours. Um, they do now produce the one colour in the giant poppies, but they're a lot more expensive. So these ones are a bit of a lucky dip. But it's nice because they give you a bit of a surprise <laughs> as they open up. So again, you can get some great shapes with the stems. They make it really quite whimsical, actually. This this arrangement. <coughs> and don't forget to give them some space to open up. You know how they'll open up quite, quite big really, the poppies, so give them plenty of space And when you're inserting the, your stems, make sure they're really going in, okay? About 
um, at least a centimetre or more. And you'll feel it. You'll be able to feel when it feels secure. If you hit another branch or it just possibly it might break or you just feel like it's not in the foam, just take it out because if it's not in there properly, it won't drink and it will just die. Take it out and just pop it in again somewhere else. Recut it. Why do you think I may have left the poppies till last? Sorry? Yeah? Anything else? Yeah, I, I want to feature them as well. I didn't want them to be too hidden. They, they are delicate in this with their stems, but they're also quite, they're actually quite easy to insert because they've, there's no leaves, there's no little nodes on the side. So I'll pop a couple more in. I nearly used them all anyway. And the last thing is my Matricaria. And that has a really, really soft stems, as we know. So just be gentle with it, careful with it. So these last placements, again, I'm really going to work on that overall shape that I wanted, that oval shape. placing these in last because they're so delicate and if I put them in first and then put all other things on top they'll just get crushed really. Can you think of any other whimsical type flowers that might look nice in this little urn? What did you see at Mr. Fresh this morning? Yeah, spray roses. Um, Malacca balm is another nice one that has that. Do you, are you familiar with the Malacca balm? The Irish bells? Yeah, so it's green. Green. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of quirky looking. Um, maybe. Yeah, Queen Anne lace is beautiful. So anything kind of old-fashioned, uh, vintage, looks nice in this little, this little vessel, I think.
little bit more. So because these stems are so thin, they're easy to, for me to insert into the foam now, rather than trying to get a big thick stem in there now. That's done. So that is your small urn design. So as I said, what I'd like you to do now is do a couple of sketches for me and maybe have a bit of an experiment, maybe try a couple of different sketches and then decide on which one you would like to do, which shape, um, and then you can go, maybe you might wanna come and show me and um, then you can go ahead and get it made. Thank you.